Well, we caught up with burlesque queen Dita Wanties on a maiden trip to India and we got talking with her. Guys, you go and check this out. It's a special for us. She's an American burlesque queen. She's an author. She's a fashion icon. She's an inspiration for many a designer. And she's the face of labels like Vivian Westwood. Her name is a brand in itself and one to reckon with. Let's find out the story behind the name. It's Dita Von Teeth. We hear there's a name behind the story. You picked it up when you were to feature on the cover of the Playboy magazine. I uh, actually came before that. Okay. Uh, I was in, they, had, they used to have these magazines aside from the regular magazine okay. that were all pictures of lingerie okay. and um, I posed for those in the early 90s and I found the name Von Trees okay. but then they made a typo and it came out in the magazine Von Tees so I just kept it. So does that have anything to do with the art of tees? At the time it was just a typographical error and I didn't anticipate it having anything to do with tees or strip tees, it was just an accident. Where did the entire idea of burlesque come from? You sort of revived it in the US. Um, well, uh, when I was about 19, 18, 19, I started working um, in nightclubs okay. and um, I, a friend took me to a strip club and I was really interested in the history of strip tees and um, I was already dressing in vintage style and so I found out a lot about um, the stars of burlesque. Burlesque shows were sort of like vaudeville shows, a variety show, and stars of these shows were strip tees stars and so that's what burlesque is. Okay, so you've performed in the US, you've performed in London, you've performed in Paris. Is India ever going to happen? Well, I'm not sure. I think there's a lot of uh, restrictions here. Um, so I think if I were performing here, it might have to be at a private event. I'm not sure. And you've become a brand to reckon with. You have you have a label, you have, I hear you're going to start a lingerie line. I have a lingerie line. Yeah. I have a dress line, which is one of the dresses that I'm wearing now. Okay. I have um, two Beautiful. perfumes that I'm working on my third. Um, I have a makeup collection with a company called Art Deco. Uh, and so what's next? Um, next, uh, I'm really focused on doing my shows in America and um, just refining all of my brands that I just mentioned. India is the land of Kama Sutra and it is the land of erotica. Mm -hmm. But why not burlesque? I don't know, you tell me. I would be happy to be doing a burlesque show. Oh, we, it would be a total pleasure <laughs> to have you. Maybe it will be possible. Okay. Have you heard of Bollywood in India? I have, I have. Okay, I so really do you, are you aware of any Bollywood stars? No, but I do. I, I wish I'd had more time before I came to India so I could have brushed up and done some more studying on Bollywood because I feel a little bit silly that I'm not that very educated about it but um, a friend of mine is bringing me some uh, the best Bollywood movies that I can watch so I'll, I'll take some home with me and, and do my homework. <laughs> You wear a lot of corsets mm -hmm. and we wear blouse is a part of the Indian mm -hmm. attire. Mm -hmm. You wear a sari yes. and a blouse. Mm -hmm. Are there any similarities you think you could draw? Um, I think um, what I've noticed because I, I love to wear the sari and I've been wearing them a lot while I've been here and I went shopping yesterday for saris and um, I find it to be a very sensual article of clothing, maybe the most sensual ever is just the way that it wraps and unwraps and it's just very beautiful and very elegant. If I, if I lived here, I'd always be wearing a sari. So you went shop shopping oh, for yeah, sari? Oh yeah, I did. I bought, I bought um, two different ones, yeah. So that is Dita Wanties in India and if there is a first for her, we are hoping there's going to be a first for Burlesque too. With camera person Uncle Khandelwal, 
This is Ankita Bhushan for Headlines Today.